again, I ask you to give your undivided and uh, attention and respect to our speaker for the day, Mrs. Lita Pershing. Good morning. My name is Lena Perchak. I am Jonathan's mom, who is in 10th grade here. Um, and I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity to um, speak to you all today to, on, a, on a pink day, on a subject that is so near and dear to my heart. Um, after having gone through my experience, I always look back uh, and I, I always try um, to give back and look for ways and opportunities and this is why I'm speaking here today. Um, it is very exciting to see all the pink in the room. I'm certainly excited by wearing this hot pink dress, so thank you for that opportunity. Um, Anyway, I would really love to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your generosity for um, an incredible effort to support these uh, wonderful organizations that support women like me. Um, like most moms, I kept running, um, taking care of everyone and everything, ignoring my body for the signs that should have been a red flag. And once I finally got to the doctor, I was in a place of, well, this was never going to happen to me, but it did. I was diagnosed with um, breast cancer on December 2016. And ironically, I spent a whole year doing research on cancer for a friend of mine, not realizing that that was going to be the one needing uh, all that information um, soon enough. Um, after initial shock and disbelief, you know, trying to figure out why and how this could have happened. I decided to um, um, use this experience as a way to grow. I took it on as um, Hashem's way of guiding me to connect, to connect to Him and to connect to myself. It was time to do some things differently. And so I decided to go public and uh, poured my heart out on social media, which was totally out of character for me. The response was overwhelming, and um, we saw Jewish community in its glory. They supported me like with everything possible, um, um, ex ex making sure that the experience we go through is uh, less scary. Organizations like Shersheret stepped in and helped us select the right doctors and provide much needed resources. At that time, Jonathan was uh, in fifth grade and he went to Lubavitch and Palisades. He, was, he would carry his Tehillim every day and he organized Tehillim for me in his school. They recorded, they made a recording of it and <laughs> They, uh, yeah, they made a recording of it and they sent it to me. It was very, very touching and gave me a lot of comfort. Now, when I found out that I would have to have chemotherapy, I thought, hey, why not to have a little fun with that? So uh, one of those experiences was having my boys shave my head. So they turned me into a punk quite a few times before all of my hair was finally gone. Um, after, after my surgery, we had hot meals delivered um, to our doorsteps every single day, organized by Rabbi, Ma M uh, Rabbi Zaltzman from Briss Avraham. Uh, that was incredibly um, helpful for us. People from all over uh, stepped up and offered us help anywhere it was needed. I watched Hashem organizing uh, a beautiful chain of events. Uh, of events getting, get, getting me to my health with such precision and um, connecting me to the right people at the right places at the right time. Um, my Imuna grew and I started to see God in everything. I always contemplated the concept of uh, free will. If our lives are pre uh, predetermined, where is that freedom of choice everyone talks about. Through this journey, I realized the freedom of choice is in 
how we're going to go through um, everything that happens to us. We're not in control of many things, but the one thing we are in control of is how we're going to react to what happens to us. I also had a couple of options. I um, could have become, become a victim to this terrible disease and fight the enemy, but I chose to, or, or um, you know, or look at it as a blessing and uh, learn from the experience and come out stronger and um, better than before, which is what I did. And in my opinion, um, that's what determines the quality of our lives. Um, our reactions to the things, because many times we're not in control. But if we're going to go through life, um, depends on um, our, uh, our choices, we're going to go through life suffering or thriving. Uh, should we choose to resist and complain or accept and be grateful for any situation uh, we end up in? We create an, out, an outcome based on our choices. So one thing is certain, God will always provide opportunities to grow. And how we internalize those lessons is entirely up to us. Baruch Hashem, I'm a six-year survivor with excellent prognosis. Um, and this experience has taught me a lot. And um, what can I say? Be kind to one another. Always extend a helping hand, even if you think you have nothing to give, because a kind word sometimes can go um, further than anything else. And for us moms, getting a hug and a kiss at the end of a tough day, what we, you know, it's just what we might need, especially from their sons. So thank you. Thank you so much.